Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. Here we have a 2023 Mazda CX-5 in the shop. We're doing full front end paint protection film installation on it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install the two-piece mirror pattern on this mirror over here. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so we're gonna get going. I've already prepped the mirror. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the mirror down with my slip solution. And I'm just gonna squeegee off the solution. This is gonna remove any potential dust that may have landed on, on the mirror since I prepped it. Now I'm gonna spray it down again. So because this is a two-piece mirror template, I'm gonna start by installing the bottom mirror first, or the bottom mirror piece first, I should say. So we're gonna be starting right on the inside over there. So, I get my tack solution in there. Get that, get that lined up. Need a little bit more tack. Kind of hard to video. It's kind of hard to video this while trying to talk your way through the install. Okay, there we go. That's good. We've got the inside down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch it to the outside. So. We'll come right over here. And you'll see, if you look right along here, you got all these little fingers. We got a little bit of stretch that we need to do. There we go, that's good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tack solution and I'm gonna spray it along the top, right over here. I wanna get some tack solution behind that film. And I'm also gonna make sure that the PPF is properly aligned along the bottom. And it is, so that's good. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna come along with my squeegee and I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get the PPF down. There we go. Okay, now you see we got a finger building up over here. Nothing to worry about. Just gonna get more tack solution in there. I'm gonna actually gonna come from the bottom. I'm gonna saw those fingers down at an angle, just like so. Now I can take and squeegee everything else out the bottom. I got one finger over here. That's going to be a minor, minor finger to deal with. There we go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do before I start the top piece, spray it down and I'm going to clean it one more time. And I'm going to spray it down. Come over here. I'm going to get my mirror piece. This is the top piece of the pattern. I'm gonna lay that on top there. And now same thing, I'm gonna start on the inside. And so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to take the, the curve of the pattern and I'm trying to get it to line up properly with the bottom template. I'm not going to try and get this 100% dialed in as far as the seam goes. I want to make sure that I got, I got it nice and close. Just like so. Now I'm going to stretch up over here. Slight stretch. 
And I'm gonna take the squeegee and I'm gonna squeegee all the way up. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna get this down. So I'm gonna have to hit this with my squeegee in that side to side sawing motion that I talked about on all of our videos. Now I can come over here and I can properly get everything aligned. So what I'm gonna do now is get a little bit of tack solution underneath there. Now, one thing when you're installing patterns, if you've watched any other videos where I've done mirrors, I always talk about how much I hate patterns. And I hate patterns because it's so easy to overstretch them, like I have on this one. Part of this might also be the actual template, might not be 100% perfect, but in a situation like this, I'm perfect all the way along the top here, but you can see right over here, I'm over. So, I'm gonna have to do some trimming, and that's fine, I can make it look good. It's better the pattern to be too big than too small, and then you end up having to stretch so much that you get tack marks everywhere that you don't want, especially with it being a black vehicle. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the heat gun, I'm gonna come along, post heat it, and then I'm gonna trim that excess off. Okay, so I got my heat gun over here. I got my lint-free lint glass drying towel. So all I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start on the seam. Just gonna heat it up. And then I'm gonna come along with the rag. And I'm just gonna press it down. Any moisture that's left behind the film, the rag is gonna soak it up. Personally, I would much rather just bulk install this mirror, but patterns it is for this one. Okay, now one thing you're gonna see over here, you're gonna see some cloudiness. This is all just from your solution, and this will disappear probably a couple hours after it's been out in the sun. Last thing we're, do, we're gonna do is we're just gonna trim off this excess film. So I got, a, I got my knife here. So I'm just gonna make sure I use light pressure. And fall along the top of the mirror. Tail about there. Now I'm just gonna peel this back. And there we go, we got ourselves a finished mirror. So, like I said a couple times in the video, I prefer to do bulk, because you can avoid having to try to line up a seam. But, this is how I got this seam down, I got this mirror done, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment down below with what your thoughts are on the video, and whether you have some constructive criticism, or any other suggestions what you would like to see in future videos. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more PPF content. Now before you go, I just want to let you guys know, uh, us at Drive Protected, we just launched our own car care line. So if you head over to driveprotected.shop, I'll have the link in the description of this video. You can uh, check out our new Amped All-Purpose Cleaner, Megawatt Foam Soap, and our Recharge Ceramic Detailing Spray. Make sure you use code PROTECTED and you will save 20% on your order. Thanks again.